Hello everyone, it's Miss Judy. And in today's number bond class, we're gonna take a look at the number six. And we're gonna use six apples to show the different number bonds that make up the number six. Now, when doing the number bonds, you can always start with a zero, a zero and the number. So we have a zero and we have a six. So the first part that makes up a number six is the number zero and the number six. Zero is the left side of the part, and six goes on the right side of the part. Now let's go back to the apples and start counting. Here's one apple, so let me put down the number one. And how many apples are left? One, two, three, four, and five. So we have five apples left. So we have a one and a five. So one and five make up the whole, which is the number six. One on the left side, five on the right side. Let's start again. One, two, two apples. Let me write the number two. And how many apples are left? One, two, three, and four. So we have four apples. So two and a four, make up the number six. We still have six apples. It's just now we broke it by two and by four. Two on the left side, four on the right side. Let's count again. One, two, three. Okay, so that's three apples. And how many are remaining? One, two, and three. So three apples remain after we take the three. So let's put the three down again. So now we have a three and a three that make up the number six. Three on the left side, three on the right side, and they make up six apples. Let's do the next one. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's write the number four. Okay, four. And how many apples are left? One, and two, so there's two. Now, let's write the number two. So we have a four and a two. And remember earlier, we had a two and a four. So that counts as two separate number bonds. They both give us the number six. Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five. So we have the number five. And how many, let's see, five, there we go. And how many apples are left? We have one. So let's put down the number one. So we now we have a five and a one. And remember earlier, we had a one and a five, two separate number bonds that make up the number six. Now let's check again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six apples, so let's write down the number six. And we do have a number, it's a zero, like we had on top, but now we have the six on the left side and the zero on the right, a six and a zero, that make up the six apples. No matter what we do, we always come back to the six apples. So these are the different ways we're able to come up with the number six. Now let's look at the number bonds that we just created. So six, is the whole that we were searching for. So the first number bond we created was a zero and a six, then a one and a five. Then we had a two and a four, and then a three and another three. The next number bond was a four and a two, and then a five, and a one. And finally, we did a six and a zero. Seven number bonds. We found seven different ways to make the number six. So what does this do with addition? Well, for addition, now we know that zero plus six equals six. One plus five equals six, two 
plus 3, sorry, 2 plus 4 equals 6. 3 plus 3 equals the number 6, which is the whole. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Remember, we had 2 plus 4 equals 6. Because of the commutative property of addition, we can also have 4 plus 2. That means we can have 5 plus 1 equals 6 because we had 1 plus 5. Commutative properties lets us move the numbers around, but you get the same amount. And then we have 6 plus 0 equals 6. Also, we have something called a double in this, um, in this section. That's the 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 is what we call a double. And what a double means is that that number is being calculated, is being added to itself. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 gives us the number 6.